Hello, Internet Ians. My name is Josh, aka Ultra Player, welcoming you to the ABC League. Season 1, Week 1, your New York Mighty Girls are going against the Maractus Turin and Coach Aless, who I'm still not sure is a boy or girl or not. But we did go over, um, he is a boy. <laughs> he is a boy, so I can stop being worried if I'm calling him the wrong gender. Uh, we put up our team building yesterday or earlier today, I'm not really sure. About where we went over, what we made and everything. Or what we uh, decided to build. I did run the team by the front office and we did change Verizion. To an offensive set with a Roselli Berry. The offensive set is so I better handle P2, which is a threat to my team. And, um... Yeah. There is Elevary I put on there so that I can better handle the Deancey. And I just gotta be careful of Bisharp. Uh, once again, I do expect the Bisharp. I expect the Mana Swan. I expect the Porygon too. I expect the Moltres. I expect the Skun Tank. And then either the Starmie or the Deancey. Right? Does that give him enough? Yeah, that gives him everything he needs. How many rockers does he actually have? He has one, two, three, four, five, six rockers. Wow. Everything has Stealth Rock. It's so easy to get up hazards. I don't even have a Rapid Spin this week. Or Defog. Even though I have like 12 Defoggers. And I forgot to mention, I did put it in the comments of the uh, Team Builder. Or not the Team Builder, but the... Um, draft Recap. But in between the Team Builder and now... I, um... I'm waiting for him to challenge me. But I did, um... Find out that Marowak does not, or Alola Marowak does not, in fact, get adaptability or all the A moves and abilities. He, in fact, uh, get the M abilities and moves. So that's something I'm going to have to keep in mind. So we are going to dive right into week number one. One second.
and we're back. <laughs> All right, it's fixed. Hopefully, it'll work this time. Tapu Lele must not have HP fighting because it starts. Okay. God. Lele. Okay. Oh, I put. Alright. Hidden power fighting. Alright. Well, I guess we can't Oko Bisharp. Tabu Lele still has Math? Hello? We're back. God bless. We finally fixed it. Okay. So basically, that I, I if you have exactly 510 EVs, Battle Hackmons will tell you to fuck off. And I tried to, 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 to top of the pain in the ass. All that should be edited out, though. You don't have to see any of that. We predicted his team almost immaculately. We do not have our mammoth spines in the first spot. Of course. We don't see the Bisharp! We don't see the Bisharp! God bless. I actually, uh, Top of Lady also can't get HP fighting apparently. So I put Focus Blast on there. And. I, uh. So that was it. So much struggle. Too much. I, um. Don't see the Mega Dancy and I don't see the Bisharp, which I'm really surprised about. I don't see the Skun Tank either. We see the Gardevoir of all things. We see we don't see Parasect, which I'm not surprised. We don't see Raikou or Wishy Washy, not surprised. And we don't see Bisharp or Diancy. Wow, 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 wow. Um Gardevoir I'm really surprised about. Uh <laughs> Shade joined. Um I want to look up, I want to do more research real quick on the Gardevoir. See what it can learn. It also gets Gear Grind, which is, I had to watch out for. Uh, it gets Geomancy. Oh god, I forgot about Geomancy. Oh man, I forgot about Geomancy. Why did I forget about Geomancy? I remember Geomancy earlier. That is going to be an annoyance. It's okay. I'll find a way around it. Uh, so anything that's really one mod that really wants to take on my celebi, and that's going to be the... 
Moltres. He also only has a Starmie to Espeon Ivy Razion, so that's really nice. Um, potential leads on his part. Who are his Stealth Rockers? One, two, three Stealth Rockers. Uh, I have to be careful. I kind of want to lead um, the Rodent Frost in case he leads a Mamoswine and he's Moldberg or Earthquake, because then I can immediately burn that. And uh, I can immediately burn the Gliscor. I can Volt Switch out on anything else. Really hope that's not too loud. Really hope that's not picking up on the mic. But I will try to talk over the conversations that are going in the other room. I'm actually going to lead the Mammoth one, or the Rotom Frost. He's actually going to lead the Porygon too. We do not see an ability. I am just going to immediately Volt Switch. And see what he wants to do. Porygon 2 is going to be an issue this match. If I can weaken this Porygon too, I actually just clean destroy him with uh, Drapion. So that's really, really nice. Unless he's a choice card, Skarmory. Starmie. Skarmory. Starmie. So that's interesting. He is going to be Prankster. So we do see the Prankster Toxic. Which is fine. I will be able to go into my Verzeon. And I will be able to force him out. Uh, I'm not really scared too much of what this thing can do. Gotta close that. I closed. I'm closing Facebook too. I'm not opening up my, my personal shit again. Uh, potential things I could do. I could Swords Dance. I just want a hard. Um, he could Parting Shot actually. So I kind of want an SD. I mean, if he goes Gluscor, I should be able to 1v1 that. Or damage it and um, help Celebi. But I don't really see too much of a reason to not close combat. We're going to close combat. He is parting shot. So Shay did predict that pretty well. Uh, the fact that he's toxic is really good. Which means that uh, that means he's probably not prankster. Or um, thunder wave. Which means he's going to have a... He's really going to have trouble with Drapion. He goes hard into Gliscor as predicted. Okay. Do we see the poison heal? Yes. Okay. So he's still going to be poison heal. So that's something to note. Uh, my ice type moves don't exist. So there's that. Uh, what could they, we could see this from this glitch score? We could see just standard stuff because I don't really think he would need too much. I mean, gear grind could be a thing. Jaster acid to preserve, uh, could be interesting. Uh. Okay. So, the main thing I'm thinking about is gear grind. Question is, could Gliscor knock out my, um, Tapu Lele? At plus one, no, it could not, unless it's offensive. If I go into that, that gives me a free ass Psy Shock. I think I'll go for rocks here. And Psy Shock is a 2 a KO. Maybe. Well, not after the poison heal. But still, it'll do a lot. Wow, he does not bring the stun fist to handle top of Lele. If I was Tailglow Salak like I wanted to be, it would be so much easier right now. If he knocks off, he knocks off. I'm just going to go hard into my top of Lele here, as we are going to see him go for the knockoff. That's crits. So he does actually not go for rocks. So that's fine. Uh, I don't see giving any twitch ins to a. Uh, Psy Shock. So we're just going to go hard for that. He goes into Porygon 2. Which is fine. Uh, this thing can't do anything to me other than straight attack. Because uh, Psychic Surge is going to block his Prankster. I did not import my team. Him into Snorlax. Pokemon Showdown says, What the fuck are you uploading? Uh, I can't believe he hard knocked off. I really thought he would, um. 
So there's a chance to kill depending on what he his um spread is and stuff. Does look like he's specially defensive. But all he can do is really try attack. So I can just go ahead and hurt this Porygon too. Psychic Terrain should I I think I wouldn't up in this up another tab. Psychic terrain. Let me make sure I know what I'm talking about. It prevents affected Pokemon from being hit by moves with increased priority. So he can recover. Okay. But he can't toxic me or parting shot me. I can just go for the Focus Blast. I mean, he all he can really do is just try attack. Which if he try, if he recovers, that's fine. If he try attacks, I two KO. Please let us hit this Focus Blast. God bless. So that will be definitely look like he can put him work, but Moltres is definitely going to have to die. If this thing stays weakened, though, Trapion can definitely put in the work. Because I clean, I outspeed anything but a Choice Scarf Skarmy. Starmy. Oko Moltres, unless it's defensive, I Oko the, I know I Oko the Gardevoir. Just recover, so that's fine. We're actually going to get the Spadef drop, so he's going to be forced to recover again. Or switch out into Starmie. Either way, I think I just want to Moonblast. Because I think that's the best play. Oh, he has to charge the Parting Shot, which is amazing. So now he's definitely 100% going for the um, thing. But Psychic Terrain ends next turn. We're going to go to Verizion here. As he's forced to recover. He's at a low amount of HP. I don't know if that's enough for uh, Drapion to Oko it. Knock off. But I will keep that in mind. And I'm just going to Sword Stance here. He's going to Parting Shot. Parting Shot, Toxic Recover, and Try Attack. Most likely. This time he's going to still go into Gliscor. I do want to scout to see how bulky he is. If he's especially defensive, he should we do about 40 to 47. Okay. We've got a plus 3. And really putting the hurt on him. I'm going to go for Leaf Blade. As we see, that is a specially defensive glide score. He's going to go for the Ice Fang, which is going to do very little damage. And I am just going to SD here. Because I kind of expect him to go for, like, a Roost or something. Or Protect. Does he go for Ice Fang? Goes for Roost. Okay. So we're just going to Leaf Blade again. If I can weaken this glide score, this also helps Drake Beyond. We're actually going to crit. Dude. That only did like 80%. That is so unfortunate for him. If he would have Ice Fanged... Oh, I mean, he still goes into Cigar Starmie. Like, it really sucks, but I feel like I 1v1'd him anyway. He still got out to a Starmie. I still want to keep this because it still can Stone Edge the uh, Moltres. We're going to soon. We're gonna see here in a second what that Starmie is, and I don't think I'm going to like it. I really don't think I'm going to like what that Starmie is. So I really am afraid. I mean, no, I don't think he would be simple shell, sh shell smash. 
If he is, there's no way he can set up on anything on my team. And not be put in range of Sucker Punch from the Snorlax. Really hope that's not picking up on the mic. I'm going to keep talking. So, this is a big threat to his team. If he's a Choice Scarfer, he'll go out to it now. If he is a uh, Fast Stormy, he'll go out to it now. I don't think he'll go out to Moltres. If you're in Stone Edge, he shouldn't go out to the Porygon 2 because I can close combat it. Verzion's putting in a lot of work. Uh, he's playing very well. Playing exactly, or bringing a lot of sets I really predicted. Uh, Geomancy, Gardevoir. I cannot let that thing set up. But what do I set up on? Goes into Star Me as predicted. Okay. Oh, but I can't let this thing sh set up if it's simple shell, sh shell smash. And that's going to make me so weak to... Oh, I'm actually just going to have to Leaf Blade. He can Sludge Wave if he wants. I cannot let that thing set up if it's sim simple shell smash. And here I can just go into Snorlax. I don't think that's Shell, shell Smash now. Because I didn't see any kind of residual. I'm just going to pursue Trap this thing. Starmie gets Spore! Wow. Steamer option. That is sheer force life orb. I'm gonna go for the sucker punch here. Hopefully, you get off some damage. That is 52. That's great. The fact that I know it's sheer force life orb is fine. Um, and here I can just go for pursuit in case he tries to sweep out. So he's just gonna keep sporing me. Okay, uh, that's fine. Oh, I'm actually gonna get the first turn wake. That is so unfortunate. I feel so bad for Aless. Uh, but we are going to knock out Starmie. I am not keeping track of stats for some reason. I need to keep track of stats. Alright, so how did I kill everything? Um, Verizion. Kills. Let's score with Leaf Blade. Snorlax kills. Starmie with Sucker Punch. What did he kill Verizion with? Starmie killed Verizion with Sludge Wave. That first thing rake is really unfortunate, but I would have gone out to Celebi otherwise and just started Leaf Storming. So this thing, still a problem. But uh, I'm just going to go for Sacred Fire. He's, yeah, I was going to say, he's probably going to go for Toxic. And I'm just going to try and get the burn. Nope, not this time. Uh, get the burn, get some residual damage going. I don't have toxic. Come on, get the residual damage. Come on, give me the residual damage. Actually, predicting him departing shot, I'm gonna go ahead and shore up. He doesn't really do to. He doesn't really have a way to put down Drapion. Let's have a parting shot. I want to calc Manaswine versus. My um, Drapion set. Knock up to 72 to 85. Get off to anybody else. Just see that do 13%. We also don't see an item, so that could well be Choice Scarf. Or it's Magic Guard Life Orb. I want this burn on this. I want this burn off on. Uh, okay, he's just gonna keep parting shot. He's gonna keep guard volt turning. Uh, he's gonna go into guard of war. Oh no. We still don't get the burn. That's bad. That's really bad. He subs. Okay, that's fine.
I don't have an infiltrator mon. I can't give him psychic surge. Sub Geomancy. Oh, we're gonna lose to Sub Geomancy because I didn't prep for it. I didn't bring Magirna. I had to start leaf storming and boosting. He's Sub Geomancy. He has to be. I should be able to eat a plus two moon blast though. And go for another leaf storm. No, I can't. That's gonna end. That's GG. Did I really not eat that? Wait. Oh, he got the roll. I mean, I can't really live anything. I mean, I don't have anything else that will um, live. Yeah, Drapion just drops. Lele can't live a hit. Wow. Well, if I had gotten that roll, we would have been in a lot better position, and I may have been able to set up with Drapion and win. I guess we just gotta start uh, sacking everything off. That sucks. That really sucks. Celebi. Lele. Bust. Okay. So we're going to lose 4 0, which really sucks. Uh, I also clicked Sacred Fire how many times and did not get a burn? So that's going to be that. But next week we will do better, I hope. Anyway, until then, peace.